This is Wisdom Anime Recap. This means war. The story begins within the backdrop of a war-torn Japan, languishing in the clutches of poverty. The destitute masses succumb to the allure of criminality, their dire circumstances leaving them with few alternatives. Amidst a dreary, rain-soaked night, six prisoners boarded a public bus, instilling wariness in the minds of the other passengers. The prisoners, chained together, their faces masked by sinister black bags, crudely punctured to reveal their eyes, stood in somber procession within the narrow aisle. One of the young men, his gaze adorned by gentle blue eyes, stooped to retrieve a fallen doll, belonging to a little girl. However, her tearful reaction betrayed her fear, which she took no pains to conceal. And when the prisoners stepped off the bus, she flung the doll through the window, a resounding rejection that inspired a pig's ire. Under the guise of discipline in exchange for tampering with others' possessions, the escorting officer subjected the gentle-eyed man to a ruthless beating. But in truth, this was only the beginning of a series of tortures, carefully orchestrated to break their spirit and will to fight, like circus elephants. As this was an old-fashioned world, one in which all crime was seen as punishable sin rather than treatable sickness. They arrived at a juvenile detention center, a grim facility enclosed by a wretched fence. Within its confines, they were forced to undress for a medical examination, followed by an invasive cavity search conducted with a glass rod, another deliberate assault on their spirits and will to fight. Then, all six were herded into a cramped cell, which they would share with one other inmate, who sat by the window engrossed in a book. When they approached him, seeking an introduction, he hurled insults and belittled them, inspiring retaliation. One of the young men, Mario, took the insults to heart, fueling a surge of fury that propelled him towards him. The stranger, poised in a perfect boxer's stance, effortlessly subdued him, triggering a flashback for Mario, transporting him back to the day of his arrest, when he had valiantly defended a female classmate from a violent teacher. Encouraged by a shared sense of indignation, the remaining prisoners flung themselves at the stranger. All five were brutally overpowered by him. As punishment, the abusive officer from earlier relentlessly pummeled the stranger until he appeared to lose consciousness. And when he demanded the other prisoners to do the same, they refused, prompting him to ready himself to unleash his fury upon them too. But as the guard prepared to strike, the stranger stood, intervening on their behalf, though he knew of the inevitable consequences, another brutal round of beatings. Yet, like Providence, the doctor arrived in the nick of time, abruptly terminating the violence and allowing the six prisoners to nurse the stranger back to health. As the stranger regained consciousness, he drew a cigarette butt, igniting it to draw in the acrid smoke. In a somber tone, he commanded Mario to stand guard, a silent acknowledgement of his newfound authority over the group. The stranger had proved his physical superiority, instilling a sense of frightened respect in them, so each member froze as he towered over them, casting an ominous shadow in response to Joe's timid inquiry about his name. But the stranger extended his tattered hand, sharing his cigarette with them, even Mario, who'd been wary of him, until he revealed he understood how the world had treated him, forging an unspoken bond between them and ultimately earning their friendship. In a hushed confession, the stranger disclosed his true name, Sakuragi Rokorauta, who they would come to know as Bro. He became the seventh member of their tightly knit group, a beacon of resilience and hope, like the colors of a vibrant rainbow that would grace their lives once the storm of their existence within the confines of juvenile detention finally subsided. Half a year elapsed, their lingering presence weaving an inescapable web that bound these seven young men together. Among them, Turtle harbored an unsettling solace within the cold walls of the prison, confessing his willingness to endure an eternal sentence as the iron bars that entrapped him had been kinder to his weary soul than the world he knew outside. Yet Joe's heart whispered an opposite tale. The tender bond with his little sister beckoned him beyond the prison's gloom, his heart aching to be reunited. He yearned to protect her fragile innocence, tucked away within an orphanage's lonesome embrace, but his longing was short-lived as the abusive officer intruded in their cell. Joe was summoned, beckoned by a mysterious visitor from the outside. Yet as they exited, Bro revealed that minors were forbidden from visiting, rendering it impossible for his sister to be the visitor. Instead, Joe was confronted by the director of the orphanage, a chilling sight that failed to elicit joy within his heart. She unraveled a haunting revelation, 
that his sister had finally been adopted. Joe wallowed in despair for the ensuing days, casting a shadow over his companions who grew increasingly concerned. However, fate took a twisted turn when, during a supply delivery, the gates were flung open, revealing a path to liberation. In a desperate act, Turtle sank his teeth into his own arm, rending the flesh apart, and erupted in a shriek, claiming the presence of a snake. The others echoed the cry, alluding to it being a venomous species, creating a diversion that afforded Joe the chance to flee to the orphanage, yearning to reunite with his sister. With every stride, his mind summoned memories of the heinous mistreatment endured by both himself and his sister at the hands of the cruel orphanage director. Meanwhile, the six young men faced a grim retribution, subjected to merciless beatings and condemned to solitary confinement. Uncovered voiced his discontent, burdened with the weight of Joe's transgression. In a remarkable display of friendship, Bro stepped forth, guiding him to fathom his own emotions and lending him solace. Uncovered was never forced to help Joe escape. Instead, his altruism stemmed from a deep bond of simple camaraderie. This realization allowed Uncovered to ease his animosity and let down his guard. Turtle recounted his harrowing upbringing, tainted by an abusive household fueled by an alcoholic father. Turtle would flee from home, clutching his sister tightly when his father drank too much. But on the one fateful occasion he left her behind, their town succumbed to an air raid, forever severing their tie. Turtle helped Joe, in order to keep him from meeting with the same fate. When Joe stormed into the orphanage, consumed by a seething fury, he was met with a confrontation from the callous director. His beloved sister had been adopted by a man who paid in cash, but Joe adamantly demanded her return. Yet the director revealed that she had been expecting him all along, as cops materialized from the woodworks, mercilessly descending upon Joe, subduing him with unrelenting force. Desperate to expose the harrowing torment he had endured under the director's sadism, Joe struggled to plead his case, but his impassioned cries fell upon deaf ears, callously disregarded by the indifferent authorities. Truly an unusual sight. In denial, the director shattered a potted plant upon Joe's head and menacingly brandished a gleaming blade, poised to deliver a fatal blow. Yet the sworn guardians of justice remained unmoved, their inaction an unrealistic representation of reality. Amidst the chaos, Joe's sister interjected, shattering his heart with a rejection he never could have foreseen. Joe's elation transformed into despair as his sister extended her apologies to the director for her brother's actions. She had grown weary of his incessant promises of their estranged mother's imminent return. She now yearned for Joe's departure, no longer willing to bear the burden of his company. And so, the thin blue lines forcibly dragged Joe away while his sister retreated to the solace of her room, her eyes brimming with a martyr's tears. She had forsaken him so that he might forge his own path, emancipated from the weight of living his life on her behalf. Joe languished within a solitary cell, his wrists cuffed to maximize discomfort, and his once vibrant visage marred by lacerations and contusions, remnants of the merciless thrashing he'd endured. The abusive officer reveled in his triumph, cruelly taunting Joe's friends with prideful boasts of his arrest. When Joe staggered back into the shared cell, his body trembled with weakness and his heart bled with sorrow, aching tears streaming down his face. He sought solace from his friends who encircled him, all replete with compassion. Yet uncovered, whose callous words sliced through Joe's vulnerability, questioned whether their suffering in the face of his failed escape had been in vain. However, Bro interjected, revealing that their act had granted Joe an extraordinary opportunity to glimpse the faces of those he'd lost, a privilege denied to the rest of them. In the courtyard, Joe confided in Mario, confessing his ambition to become a singer. He disclosed his conflicted admiration for his sister, despite the anguish she had inflicted upon him, marveling at her ability to move forward without him. He yearned for success, a day when his sister would long to be by his side, now that he too had achieved greatness. A smile played upon Mario's lips, a glimmer of relief, knowing that his friend had not lost hope, no matter how cruel the world had been. Uncovered observed Joe and Mario's exchange from a distance as the abusive officer drew near, reading the contempt on his face. He disclosed that Bro had been incarcerated for the murder of his own parents, cautioning Uncovered against placing trust in him. When Uncovered confronted Bro regarding this revelation, Bro seized his collar. 
His words were obscured by defensiveness as he refused to provide a straight answer. Yet the abusive officer stood by uncovered, seemingly willing to protect him, and hauled Bro away for a merciless thrashing. However, when their eyes locked, an agonizing memory of Bro threatening defiance during an early beating surfaced in the officer's mind. It was then that the seeds of fear took root within him, when he realized he could not break Bro's spirit. Instead, he'd grown to fear him. Now, a surge of resentment coursed through his veins as he realized that Bro intended to empower the other prisoners, ensuring their spirits would remain unbroken too. Upon returning to his cell, Bro discovered Uncovered pouring poison into their friend's ears, so he tried to reason with him, but Uncovered cut him short and fled, summoning a guard to escort him to the library. Bro, opting not to explain himself to the others, chose to trail after him. In a haze of hidden books, Uncovered indulged in some illicit cannabis, concealing his vice within the pages. Yet, before his tainted tranquility could fully take hold, the abusive cop emerged from the shadows. He offered to aid Uncovered in framing Bro for hiding the contraband, threatening to punish him instead if he disagreed. Just outside of their view, Bro stood a silent observer, bearing witness to their treacherous exchange. Unfortunately, one of Uncovered's joints ignited the building, engulfing the premises in flames. The abusive cop reveled in sadistic amusement as he callously hurled his prison key through a window, falsely assuming that Bro was confined to his cell. Uncovered's remorse-filled eyes now beheld a devastating truth. His companions were trapped within the inferno due to his treachery. However, the abusive cop brandished a menacing threat, vowing extreme punishment should he dare to report him. Uncovered, his spinelessness proved, shamefully departed the premises. Memories of a long-lost childhood flooded his mind when a seemingly benevolent soul had bestowed upon him a small token of affection in the form of a sweet snack. Yet, destitution had compelled his mother to sell herself to this abominable man, seeding in him an overdeveloped willingness to discern the flaws of those he perceived as kind, inspiring the distrust which led him to betray Bro. And when he met him outside, Uncovered sank to his knees, professing his ignorance and shirking accountability for his actions. But Bro saw through his feeble words and braced himself to plunge into the raging fire, determined to rescue their friends. Uncovered was perplexed by this selfless act, as he had gone to great lengths to make their friends loathe him. However, Bro's motives were not driven by a craving for accolades. He acted out of genuine friendship. His actions would allow him to face death without regret, an outcome far preferable to a life burdened with it.